Dragon closing in, we're inside 20 meters. After the noise and speed of yesterday's launch, the SpaceX capsule serenely inched towards its final destination. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. The International Space Station almost within reach. Soft capture complete. This complex process entirely automated. The two-man NASA team of Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin just had to sit and wait. Dragon SpaceX, hard capture complete. Stand by for docking completion. Dragon SpaceX, docking sequence is complete. And with that, history was made for the second time in 24 hours. After becoming the first privately owned craft to launch humans into orbit, it's now the first to dock here. All the previous visitors have arrived on government-built rockets, but now billionaire Elon Musk's company joins that elite club. And with that, the hatch is open. American Chris Cassidy opened the hatch to welcome his fellow countrymen aboard. We have Bob Benkin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. They join him and the two Russian residents of the ISS for a planned four-month stay. Followed by Doug Hurley. Social distancing clearly not a consideration 260 miles above the surface of the Earth. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crude launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. We do hope to put her through her paces, and so the good ship Endeavour is going to get a lot of a uh, checkout over the next uh, week or two here, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, declare her operational. Politicians were on hand at Mission Control to congratulate them. Uh, we're looking at a decade since we've had American astronauts launched on an American ship from American soil. This test flight hasn't been without problems. The original launch was delayed, scuppered by bad weather. It almost happened again on Saturday, but the clouds cleared right on cue at Florida's Kennedy Space Center. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX. Allowing the rocket a clear path and heralding a new era in space travel, where businesses, not governments, stump up much of the cost. President Trump insists it'll free up NASA to focus on the next chapter, returning humans to the moon with the next stop, Mars. Kit Bradshaw, Sky News.